blacks losing. So I read up on Huey P. Newton and Malik El Shabazz, who saw the truth about two nations after he went to Hajj, and further proclamation to brothers killed in the mass, Panthers killed in the mass, when black and white fusion led to whites and blacks in prison. But what's our charge? Do our populations get locked down because our people are too large? Trapped in cages, policed in projects? Damn, why can't our issues ever make it to Congress while Congress making bomb threats, wasps scripting conspiracies and they nests? Oh, you think that I jest when I insist we can't prosper capitalistically? Look how listlessly public elementary schools construe our history where black and white fusion is just whites and blacks erased. Just peep what happened in our streets and our tenements. Dead body, dead dreams stacking like Benjamins. Our men, women, and children forced into mental and physical imprisonment while the CIA trains ex-slaves into assassins in the Dominican. But we're just concerned about the next craze, neglecting the captivity of liberty. Trapped in a maze, trapped in a maze that capitalistically black we can't prosper because capitalism attacks blacks. Just inspiration here and there. This is a piece to bring attention to one of the most cruelest poisons that exist in our system now. It's called Tell a Lie Vision. Stop telling lies to my vision. Stop telling lies to my vision with those ultra violent rays of Tell a Vision, that subliminal religion using precision to slice through the mind. Commercial lobotomies at every address, the free press, a million dollar organization owned by the government, creating its own covenant. Once the mind is controlled, the body will follow, creating an illusionary tomorrow while workers are overwhelmed with sorrow. It seems the rich get richer as the poor will soon make negative income and succumb to the cruelty of reality. Then come home to the tyrant that makes him a make-believe king, but the one who is deceived is the one who holds the disease, the glowing box, more contagious than chicken pox and a hundredfold more deadly. That grows into your family, really causing all the tragedy. If only I had bulimic eyes to throw up the lies being fed into them, anorexic ears to vomit the wanted ruckus. My senses have no justice, forced to accept the nuisance. Repetitive sitcoms circle themselves to create nooses, but I grow older. Ironically, I hold a remote controller, but I'm under control. My soul on chains, big corporations controlling our brains, driving us insane and calling it normal. Madness becomes formal, but the TV addicts still stay loyal, ignoring the inner turmoil to watch another's actors pretending to be brothers or lovers, playing out love and other emotions that rubs on the viewers like lotion and gets absorbed. It's jaws decapitating the greatest minds that get bored. Become a slave to channel surfing with subliminal messages on different wavelengths that break sense something uncommon. Speaking truths in the mouths of liars, igniting mental forest fires that burn the trees of knowledge to its roots, desecrating the soils of creativity to suit TV the deadliest contraband, turning lush mental Amazons into barren desert wastelands.